Welcome to another Sims 4 video. Today we're going to be doing the classic random pack challenge. We're going to get five random packs from the Sims 4 and try and build a house with it. You know, simple, straightforward, but it's fun. It's been a long time since we've done it. But before we do that, I have a quick request. This is just to help me out personally and you guys as well. I think this is going to be really, really good. At the moment, we're running a community survey that you guys are filling out to rate every single DLC from the Sims 4. We did this last year and over 15,000 of you participated and we made a video out of it. Obviously, it's been updated to include the packs from this year as well. So if you could help me out by clicking the link in the description down below and filling out the survey, it's going to make a really good video, which I hope you guys are going to enjoy as well. But let's get back to this video. So over here on my website, we've got the Sims 4 Random Pack Generator and we're just going to hit the button. This is how it works. You will see it'll just start generating random packs. You'll get a selection depending on how many you've chosen. In this case, this is not the selection we're using, but is a demonstration. Movie Hangout, Wedding Stories, Eco Lifestyle, Realm of Magic and Tiny Living Stuff. Now down below, you can select which packs to include and, and which packs to not not because if you don't own everything obviously that makes sense now i've deselected all the creator sim kits because obviously if we're trying to do a build having a creator sim kit is not going to help us i also deselected uh my first pet stuff and i also checked this box so we get at least one expansion because there's so many stuff packs and so many kits there's sometimes it's quite often to not get an expansion at all which makes it really hard because most items come in expansions you know what i mean so anyway Let's go ahead and this is gonna be what we're building with today. Here we go. All right, we got Dream Home Decorator, Jungle Adventure, Vintage Glamour, Horse Ranch and Country Kitchen. Okay, we've got like a, a ranch vibe slash country, but fancy with Vintage Glamour and like Ikea Chic with Dream Home Decorator and Jungle Adventure, I guess could be, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna use from that, but that's our selection. All right, so we're gonna build here near the town. I think I'm gonna do like a barn kind of thing like that, but we're gonna make it glamorous because we got Vintage Glamour. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. All right, let me start with the barn first. I, I don't want it to be too big because I'm just building for one sim at the moment. I also don't want it to be too small. You know, we need room. Okay, I'm thinking these two shapes here. And then we're gonna go up. We obviously want, should I? I think I'm gonna build a full second level like that and then do the roof above that as this will just give us way more space. I don't know if this is gonna be too big, but we're not limited by budget or size. So may as well try and do something that's pretty livable. <laughs> that's a, hey, hey, welcome to my house. Do you, do you like it? Do you guys like it? It looks really good from this side, hey. Uh, okay, maybe it's a little tall. I'll just make the lower level like not as tall. I think that helps. Uh, then we obviously need some sort of uh, something on this side because this is a big wall. What about a silo? And by silo, I mean working with curved walls because it's so annoying. Yeah, th this will be a great idea. Just I'm not going to regret doing this. At okay, that's too big. Yeah, I got to use a small one. I'm not going to regret using curved walls at all. Oh, good. I like how the <laughs> even up here, it's already not glitched out. Now, do I go taller than this? Maybe. Do I need to go one higher? Sure. I, I'm also fully aware that it doesn't make sense having it like built into the wall of the barn, but this is The Sims and it's supposed to just look cool. <laughs> okay, that definitely looks better having that on the wall. And then I think I need something here, just like a little entrance section. Lower the roof down and we'll just extend it out. And you know what? I might even extend it to the side. Have like a little porch area. Yeah, and then we'll obviously we'll put columns and stuff in. All right, now down the end, we obviously have to do big windows. I kind of like this. I wanted, I, obviously ideally one like tall window or something, but there's no window that's taller than perfectly like tiles with these horse ranch ones. And I kind of like that. <laughs> it's definitely got a more modern vibe because I don't think a barn would look like this, but it does allow us to, I think what we're gonna do is probably have the back half of the barn, maybe like over here, that'll be actual floor space. This can be open to the lower level. Yes, or maybe a little bigger. Yes, and then even upstairs, this should probably be open as well, right? Um, Though it's kind of difficult to do that. Hang on, the wall is back here. Let's divide it in the same spot. So if I remove this section, that's open all the way down. That's the only annoying thing is that the um, the flat part of the roof really doesn't look good. It should just be the roof coming in. And I, can I do that? Maybe it, it normally you could just sort of, if I remove the wall, yeah, it puts the floor back. If I remove that wall too, okay. Then if I remove the ceiling, see we still have walls from the roof is the problem. I, the only, uh, yeah. Cause normally you could sort of do it and have the roof exposed if the roof was 
one piece, but because our roof is in three pieces, it doesn't work that way. So it doesn't look as good. So maybe we just have to leave it covered in. Uh, maybe we could do like, do I have vintage glamour stuff in here? No. Kind of want a glass. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I was gonna say, I want a glass fence. Can I make like, what does it look like if I make a fence out of half wall like this? Probably no good. Okay, I'm not, I'm not really sure what the plan is here to be honest, <laughs> I'm just having fun. Okay, so back downstairs, I think this would be a great bathroom. Maybe even just like, this. Oh, you know what could be cool? Can I do... Well, let me get some lights, because we can't see any. Use the bigger lights so we can see them easy. There we go. Okay. It's always good to light it up a little bit so you can see what you're doing. Okay. So, I've kind of got that as the front entrance right now, which obviously I don't want, because... I mean, I would if the lot was facing the other way, but I guess this is actually our entrance, so maybe I'll get the same door. Yeah, we'll just do the same sort of thing. Alright, so the actual... Why don't we... Let me get a colour on the outside. I like the white and black on that, but I think... Should we just go, like, classic red barn? Is that what we want to do? Or it could be stone. That could be nice. Ooh. That actually looks... That looks really nice. I don't know if the whole, would the whole thing be stone all the way up? I guess so. I don't know if it's, cause it's a lot of stone. You know, this is an old barn. This is, they, this is before they invented wood. <laughs> I don't know why I found that funny. That's so dumb. Uh, is there like a, hang on, I need to have a look in the light. I want like a rich wood. Oh. Although the black wood is actually kind of cool. Do I want to mix it in with the black? I kind of like it. And then like this could also be that. Hmm. Well, it is a glamorous barn renovation. We got to keep that in mind. Um, oh, there's so many good like wallpapers from the other packs that I'm thinking about. Like the metal from growing together, I feel like would be really good on this silo. But we'll have to do something else. That's probably right. That's sort of mason. It's technically masonry. I don't really know what it's supposed to be. I guess it kind of almost looks like concrete that's been sort of put in that pattern. I don't know. Anyway, that's what we've done the silo out of. Okay. Roofing. What options do we have? We've got horse ranch. I probably want to do metal sheeting, to be honest. Oh, I don't know. Oh wait, that's Bill Surcharge. I think this is eco-industrial, but as long as it's not Bill Surcharge, I guess that's fine, right? Or do we keep the roof more traditional looking? Like this is what it would have originally been. Like if we just use this horse ranch, I guess maybe the top of this should be different. There you go. Um, I guess do I do a black trim or a white trim? I feel like black I think looks better, right? I mean, I think this looks pretty good. <laughs> I'm actually pretty happy with this. So far, anyway. All right, let me do it on this other side. I probably need a roof on this thing. Let's put the eaves back to where they were. Can I extend this off a lot? Oh, I can. <laughs> okay, maybe not that far. It's like a little bit. Because I, I do want a nice like undercover porch area. I think that'll be nice. That's maybe a little big on this side. Back a bit. So we have some outdoor space that's undercover. Is that too big, maybe? Maybe, we'll see. I, I need to add columns in and stuff. All right, what do we got? We have these ones, which I think are probably more glamorous uh, looking, you know? So why don't we use these in... This wood color is actually really nice. So if we can maybe also combine this wood color in, because then we have a little bit of more natural looking elements around the place in terms of coloring. Okay, that's better. I like that. Nice. All right, yeah, I think this is actually looking good. Inside, well, let me have a look. I do like these columns as well, so I think we'll utilize some of these. I think I'm gonna have the stairs yeah, potentially. Wait, no, I'm gonna move them. They're gonna go here. It's gonna go here. Okay, I think. <laughs> so what I'm thinking is, actually, you know, I might make this one smaller just because that fence division doesn't look very nice. I'm thinking if we turn that into a bathroom and this, we can have two bathrooms on both these levels, just there and there, which will actually be very handy. Then I guess this will be, I don't know, bedrooms or whatever. Then that leaves this whole downstairs as like living space. Obviously we'll probably fit another room back here somewhere, maybe a second living room or like a separate kitchen because we do have a lot of space. And then of course we do actually have this upper level as well. I don't know if I'm, should, should I do stairs going up to that? I, how do we even get up here? All right, so we got a little kitchen, well, I guess it would be kitchen dining area back here probably. Uh, and then this is obviously living space, bathrooms. Um, I was thinking we could do a mud room here and then I guess maybe like a library kind of or like uh, book book place where you do books maybe we can have it like this and then should we do big windows over here no actually hang on if, I, if i'm doing books oh dang it i wish i had book nook oh we've got um dream of decorator books though we do three like that we do a little door here it's just black so it's a little way out there because you know if you're here it'd be nice to get out there um and then yeah that'll be a mud room i'm thinking okay so then this i guess the floor should probably be well i haven't done any jungle adventure oh do these come in a white oh what is this it's like pink it's like a purpley blue color okay no i do need to do jungle adventure somewhere but that ain't it we're definitely gonna have the white floorboards because it's like this whole place has just been like painted white i think that actually looks awesome We'll get color in the furniture, okay? We're gonna go vintage glamour in some places. It's gonna look cool. 
I hope. And then we have like the natural wood color in some of these beams and stuff. So I think, look, it's got potential. Whether or not we realize it is another question. Okay, these rafters, I need to do this as ceiling. So this is gonna go, oh no, what's with the, oh no. What's with the cur the curved, wait, there's a section here. What the, uh, oh, why is that drywall? Why, curved wall? <laughs> Why? Wait, why? What? Hang on. Why is that even there? The oh, because the room above is it? Because of this room? Wait, I can't even select this. What the heck? <laughs> if I get, what if I get rid of the floor up here? Maybe that'll fix it. Oh no, that doesn't look good. Oh, curved walls. Why? <laughs> So is it just because this one above, if I get rid of this, does that fix it? Oh, it does. That's so annoying. Roll back the tape where I said I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to regret doing these curved walls. I'm not going to regret using curved walls at all. Could we instead have this on the interior as well? Because it that's kind of cool. It's also equally as glitchy though. I, I'll tell you that now. Because you're not supposed to have curved walls inside like this. It does. It's technically not supposed to work like this, but it does. So maybe we can roll with it. I, oh, I don't know if I can get a door into it. Oh wait, hang on. You know what? If this works, I'm kind of down for it. Oh wait, there's jungle adventure flooring. I know what I can use. Yes, because they these have some nice. Oh my lord. Hang on. Sorry. There we go. I feel like that kind of. It's the vibe of the lot. I kind of like it. Oh, how cool would it be if the game had curved stairs that went up through this? That would be amazing, wouldn't it? All right, let's get another door down here. I guess I'll put it in the same sort of spot. I really want windows here. Could they be a different room besides, maybe this one's not a bathroom. Problem is a circular room is very difficult to actually use for anything. <laughs> maybe we just do one window on each level and then we just have, and maybe a window outside too, actually. And then we'll just do some, Blinds, how about that? I guess, uh, that's cool. That is actually cool. Vintage glamour, here we go. Now we're talking. <laughs> okay, I was hoping it would snap to the wall, but I guess I'm gonna have to do that myself because I'll do it over here, it'll be easier. All right, so upstairs, I think I'll do a bathtub because it might be useful to have. If I put it, if I put it on this wall, then you could conceivably like sit in the tub and have like a, a view, you know? It's kind of fun. Uh, all these showers are so awkward because they're all square. We don't have any of the freestanding showers. Um, hmm. I could potentially do something like this where I have a wall so it's like at least against the wall. I have I have big regrets of the, the circles now. Uh, maybe this isn't a bathroom. Maybe the downstairs one's not a bathroom. Hang on. I'm going back. Uh, I think this room needs to be something else because I think having the, the bathtub in here is fine because that sort of fits. And then obviously we'll do a sink. Maybe this downstairs one needs to be something else. Oh god, a circle. What the heck is a circle room? What am I gonna do in it? What do we have? Let me let me select all my packs. Let's <laughs> see if there's anything I can put in there. Ooh, a globe. Hang on. Maybe this is our reading room. What? Wait a second, we might be getting somewhere. Nice comfy carpet. Wait, we've got Dream Home Decorator, right? Ooh, hang on. Do these fit the curves? Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. I don't think they fit like perfectly, but they get pretty close if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, you can see the curve is not quite right, but to be honest, it's close enough. Okay, well, <laughs> you're gonna have to ignore the ceiling because there's nothing I can do about it because of dang curved walls. But this is our little circular room downstairs. It's like a little reading room, a little, little vintage glamour, if you will. You know, we've got our globe bar. Look, it's not the best looking room, I'm gonna be honest, but there's, there's only so much I can do with this space. But you know, I think it's nice. It's got, you've got your chest table, you've got your couch, you got your books. You know, what else could you need? And to be honest, I think when you're playing like this, it looks pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I guess I'll just do the bathroom upstairs quickly. And then downstairs, I guess in that case, I should probably add another bathroom because that was going to be the bathroom. But boy, am I looking forward to just doing a square bathroom. It's going to be so good. <laughs> I think I'll put it back here. And then this can be part of the kitchen here. Oh wait, maybe I'll do the kitchen here. Hmm, wait, because I feel like that could be a good dining space and then the kitchen. I guess, hang on, let me open this up because I don't think that needs to be divided. This is this is like one room. All right, well, we have to use a country kitchen kit because that was one of, that's literally one of the kits we got given. So let's try and do that. Now I'm tempted to just do black, but we do need to add color through the furniture because the walls and floors are <laughs> not colored at all. So I think maybe we'll do, maybe the default color of the kitchen is quite nice. All right, look, I gotta play around and see what's gonna work here. Okay, I'm thinking something like this. Uh, I might change the floor in here because I, I don't know if it's too much in the kitchen area. And then dining across here. So we'll do a big dining space. Oh, we could use a jungle adventure table. This is nice. Oh, can I line it up with a window? I think it needs a rug. Whoa, okay, that's big. Yeah, this floor I don't think is working in this room as well. Though I'm not sure how to transition the floor from this room to that room because this is all like one plane. What if we have 
black walls in here like we had on the outside. Oh, maybe like the sort of polished concrete flooring. I mean, that kind of makes sense for the bottom of a barn. And actually I could do that in the mud room too. So yeah, the concrete is much darker in there. Then this room goes like really bright and light. Um, although I don't know if you'd really want a dark kitchen, but <laughs> that's what we're doing. So <laughs> I forgot like every piece of this um, cabinet set is completely different. Just kind of annoying because I wish the main one, because this has the same stuff in it. So if you just tile it, it looks really silly. So I guess I have to mix it up and maybe, maybe do a dish rack here. I kind of wanted the sink in the middle though. Although actually we do have Dream Home Decorator. We could do a stove in the middle like this. That's kind of nice. Maybe do the gas fired one, probably a little bit. I think it fits a bit better maybe with this theme. And then we can do the oven back of, hello, back of, hello. What? How come when I put it in there, it disappears? Hello, where'd it go? Wait, now, wait, what? <laughs> Wait, oh, now it's over here. Okay, let's put it back. <laughs> Hello? What's happening? Okay, we're in, <laughs> I think. All right, so stove and oven, very nice. And maybe I'll do the dishwasher here. I'm basically covering up the cabinets entirely. Like you can't really see them, which is kind of good because I feel like, to be honest, these this kitchen set probably doesn't go with this barn because we got vintage glamour and also it's supposed to be like some really nicely renovated barn and then the kitchen's like <laughs> kind of run down, but you know. A little bit of fun. Ooh, I can get this sink. Although it doesn't really, it doesn't fit properly because it has gaps, right? So, no, it is cool. I think I'll do this because we got the vintage glamour sink with the <laughs> sort of brass taps. Might just do some of these utensils out here. You know, they've been cooking. They kind of need it in this area. That makes sense. Let's not forget a bin. And I'm not going to forget an outdoor bin because I'm going to do it right now. It's going to go out here. There you go. Maybe I can combine it with horse ranch. I mean, to be honest, that's not the worst in the world. I've just done the black cabinets. I think it Kinda goes. Uh, the fridge, maybe that should also just, oh wait, that's green, let's say black. Okay, could do the black one there as well. I don't, I don't hate this. I mean, it, it, look, it's a little wacky because of all the different colors. Maybe if we, what if we move the dishwasher and the oven? No, I forgot this is like glitched there. We have like the black and that, no, I actually kind of like it being the sort of, wait, what? Why won't the oven go? What is with the oven? It's like so glitched. Just go there. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, I, I actually like that. I will do the rafter, I think, ceiling probably everywhere, maybe. At least that's my current plan. I'm going to just do it in the other rooms as well. And I guess up here as well. Okay. Now I need some vintage glamour. Can, can we do this at the table or is this going to be too much? Okay, maybe, maybe the bedroom. <laughs> I, was, I was starting to do it. I'm like, no, 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 no. That's not going to work. That's absolutely not going to work. Okay. So I think this is the kitchen dining area done. I'm actually pretty happy with it. <laughs> I, I think this turned out quite well. You know, I've got a bit of jungle adventure there with the dining table. Obviously, obviously a lot of horse ranch everywhere. Uh, combined with a little dream home decorator here, obviously the country kitchen kit. Uh, put a few more like little decorations around. In the entrance, we've got a little bit of vintage glamour there and a little bit over here. It's, look, it's a little bit random to be honest, but I didn't know what else to put there. It's kind of a weird spot, but overall pretty nice space. You know what? I might actually change the ceiling. I think it might look better if we just use like one of these that doesn't have as like that doesn't look like it's modern enough if that makes sense. Like it doesn't seem like it's like if we were renovating I think we'd use maybe a bit nicer wood so I think this might be a better option. Anyway we'll have a look. I think that might look nicer. Let me have a look. Yeah I think that's better. So we've got the concrete floors. Obviously we've got a lot of warmer tones through the woods and stuff which I'm really trying to work with here. Um, and then I think this but oh and why does that keep happening? The ceiling on these spots here just keeps disappearing for some. Oh, is this not a room? Why is this not a room now? Yeah. Oh, dang it. That one window. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I think this space looks so nice. This is cool. We just got to make it warm and cozy, but also big and spacious. All oh, right, fireplace. We've got a couple options. We could do vintage glamour. We could do jungle event. Probably not because I think this is an exterior <laughs> fireplace and not that one. We could do horse ranch. Uh, I think probably horse ranch is actually the way to go here. Okay, so what I'm thinking, I'm just trying to, I'm just sort of mapping out everything here. Let me get the jungle table. Now we kind of have to have a couch sort of here with the fireplace. Well, I mean, we don't have to, but I think it's quite nice. Uh, I might move it further back. It doesn't need, it doesn't need to be that close. So it kind of has to, you know, be in the middle of the room, kind of like that. I think that we've got that space over there. Now this, I want to do something here as well. Is there, oh, we don't have any, kind of want some sort of, what if I did that? <laughs> That's kind of, it's kind of cool. Uh, oh, it's kind of glitchy though, because it's on the wall. Oh, that's annoying. All right, never mind. Maybe we can push this couch further back. Like it's quite far away from the fireplace, but we probably, because it, if it's all over here, it's kind of smudged in the way, kind of blocks the door. So I think it, probably having it further out this way makes more sense. Okay, this is kind of what I've ended up with. Uh, uh, not that I haven't done that video, but this is like the living area. I think it's good. It's pretty simple. 
I know I was talking about color. I got we got color in the rug. We got color there. I want to add more stuff, but honestly, there's not a lot of couch selection, and a lot of the choices weren't really going with this. So we'll have to still figure out some more stuff here. But I'm gonna figure out the lighting now because we don't have any ceiling until two levels up, like up here. So we basically need to hang a chandelier from this roof. I mean, we have to, right? So if we get the horse ranch one, how far? How much does that light up? <laughs> Uh, not a lot. That's probably not very useful. Let's have a look. Yeah, that, that's not that's not going to do a lot. Okay, so what we're going to do, I think if we just use, I think even just these regular spotlights up on this level, that is, as you can see, lighting up downstairs actually quite a lot. So that actually works pretty well. Kind of wish we had some sort of thing to put here, but I don't really. What about a sculpture display? Not this glass kit. I think I might have to build my own glass. Like there's this, oh, actually, what about this? Let me just put it here, like on a display wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. It didn't really do what I wanted it to do. Okay, we're gonna make a glass cabinet. So you, can, you still have unobstructed views. And I don't have glass flooring, so I'm just gonna open it. So it's just open on this level. And then in here, red velvet carpet. This seems like something I'd build in like The Sims 1 or The Sims 2 when I was a kid, just cause it was fun. <laughs> what should we put in it? All right, there's gotta be something in my pack selection. All right, there's not a lot of options. We could do a skeleton, but it's kind of scary. <laughs> I don't really want to. Maybe we could do this on scale down. <laughs> I actually, I really like this kitchen dining area. And you know what? I don't hate that statue being there. That's kind of fun. <laughs> I kind of like that. And it breaks up the space nicely. You can come here, you can view it. You'd be like, wow, look at that. And then move on to the living area. This is nice. I like this, lots of windows. Okay, so I did this little room. It's just got the piano yeah, you know, some plants and I changed the wall so it wasn't so white because <laughs> that's definitely a problem I'm having is having very white walls and floors. Though that is, that's what I wanted to go for for the main area. So, you know, I got to reap what I sowed. But uh, I think the downstairs is looking great now. Uh, I gotta do this little mud room as well, which I guess we'll have a separate door here somewhere. So let me just do this. Maybe I'll use this door. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I like that. And then back into the main section of the house. So I guess I'm just gonna do a black door and blend it in. <laughs> Problem solved. All right, so let's go in here. This is a mud room. You take off your boots, wash up. Actually, this is where we can use that sink that matches. All right, there we go. I got a couple of things hanging on the wall, some boots, a place to wash up, a little mirror, you know, nothing too special. But then that just comes in here. I guess outside I should probably do some actual flooring around the place because I haven't done that. <laughs> Ooh, I like the country kitchen kit flooring. This is actually kind of nice. I think I'll have a little pathway coming around the back because, you know, we've got the bin and stuff around here. That makes sense. And then we'll have to do some landscaping and stuff. All right, so mailbox. Well, I mean, whilst I'm outside, we might as well choose this. Oh, <laughs> I don't really have any choices in this combination. I guess what we had was good. Uh, I'll put it, <laughs> it seems very random on this lot because it doesn't really go with it, but sure, I'll just put it there. Okay, this side of the barn <laughs> with the kitchen windows looks very interesting. I also still have not done this bathroom here, which I should probably do. I'm gonna use the same black door, put it there. And I guess we should probably do windows, maybe similar. I get rid of that one window here. It does mean it doesn't look as nice, but it means then the windows are like, centralized a little bit and we could do like a little bit of this kind of thing it's kind of like the wisteria from uh cottage living except obviously i don't have that so i'm using this whilst i'm here do a little bit of landscaping maybe yeah just a few plants around there i think that makes that side look a lot better okay it's pretty cool all right this bathroom is obviously <laughs> very open so we um will have to <laughs> either ignore that and live our lives or do something about it i'm approaching three hours of time having done this so far it's surprising how long some of these take for just realistically what isn't that much but i think the challenge of like the certain packs and then trying to fit the style of every of all well i, I guess we're, we're kind of got the style of something i do feel like this has got vintage glamour vibes because it is quite glamorous obviously we're not using that much gold and stuff but you know i feel like we got those vibes obviously we've got the horse ranch vibes um we've got the country kitchen kit vibes it's very country very nice so you know i feel like I, i'm hitting all the notes but it, it just makes it take a long time to do it all right let's move upstairs okay so at the moment i guess i'm kind of planning for two bedrooms maybe well i guess it could be a third one upstairs but like here and here is kind of the plan um, and then they'll just share this bathroom. I don't think I'll do any en suites. And then up the, t I mean, this could be another bedroom. It's just not very big because it's quite thin. Uh, and if I wanted it to have a door, I'd have to do it when you come up the stairs. 
here, right? So it is possible this is another bedroom. Uh, yeah, you know, I guess maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll try and do three bedrooms. Uh, maybe I should bring it back. Maybe it's too big. Maybe, maybe we give it a double wide hallway. I think that makes more sense, to be honest. Because then we could have some seeing up here. Like if I put the door there, then we have room to do this, for example. I don't have any windows on the side up here. I wonder if I should maybe do that because it is. We do have lots of space for it. Let's do a few. I'm leaving this wall blank because that's sort of part of the end of the barn, but I think those are nice there. And then we can maybe do a bigger section of windows here, potentially. We we'll do a few sets of windows like that because that gives us plenty to this hallway space and then a nice big window for this bedroom. And then obviously we're going to do windows at the back here too. So, which if I'm following the, the same as the other side of the barn, it was basically this, just completely layer the wall. I might have to adjust my little thing. And then we go to the next level and it just goes up, but not as high, right? Yeah. I mean, I kind of liked, you know what? Hang on. Maybe we could remove some of the middle. We'll have it sort of come up a little bit. I mean, I don't hate it. I don't know if it really works, but <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. It does leave this gap here, but I guess we could use that for like wardrobes or something. Is it a couple more windows on this side? Should I be using this, um, these tiles down on this bathroom? Ooh, it is kind of nice. Oh, I could do it in the kitchen. Oh, hang on. Ooh. Ooh, that, that's kind of nice. But is it too much? It does add a nice bit of color. I'm going to leave it there and see what I think. Because I kind of like that. I think that's nice. All right, upstairs. I might, should we do some carpet or do we want to keep the wood flooring? I don't know. It's vintage glamour time though, for sure. If now's not vintage glamour time, I don't know when is. All right, which bed do we like? I think this one is... <laughs> we go with this? There is a vintage glamour rug, which maybe we can incorporate. If I just scale it up, have it take up most of the floor maybe. Because then we can keep this sort of white carpet going on. I mean, white carpet, white flooring. Yeah, this rug's not the best. I don't know what to do with it. White? <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay, this bedroom the is kind of like... It, it needs to still fit the style of the house. I was about to go like full vintage glamour in here, but I think we do need to keep it somewhat connected to the fact that it's a barn, <laughs> you know? So let me not do like this super fancy side tip. Like I was going to do like all these and that. We could do, we could do like the vanity and stuff, but I think I gotta, I gotta keep it a little bit on the rails, you know? Ooh, mirror wall. Let's go. <laughs> Does this look like you're, you're in a barn? I mean, uh, kind of. Okay, maybe that's too many mirrors. <laughs> Might do three and just sort of offset them a bit. All right, then we got a little bedroom in here. Here we go, we go ranch bunk. Actually, yeah, something we don't even have in this house is like a desk anywhere. Maybe we could do one here, get rid of some of those books. Yeah, because then we still get the same sort of thing going on with it. But, so now we at least have a computer down there. Because I was, yeah, I was gonna add one up here in this room and I was like, wait a second. I didn't give anyone a computer in this house. So I think we needed at least one somewhere other than in this kid's room or I don't know, whoever's gonna live in here. There you go, nice computer. I get a little kid, kid room, kid centric. Oh, I kind of like the black and the colors on the inside. All right, do we do we continue the vintage glamour motif? I guess so, because then at least like the rooms match and it kind of makes at least it's not just that main bedroom looking a little funky, you know. Get our Dementor cupboard. <laughs> Whenever I see this, I just think of Dementors from Harry Potter. <laughs> So we'll get one of those. The kids will love it. I'm not sure what age of kid is supposed to be in here, but I guess it's a child. So it's kind of nice. I, I don't mind that. I got nice windows. I did a mirror there. Computer, a few toys. All right, this spot here is kind of like, it's it's a hallway, but can I put something in it maybe? Just like, there's a hallway table, even just this. And then like a plant on it or something. This house has a lot of plants. When I'm reduced in how many items I actually have in the game, I just place more plants. That's kind of how it goes. The fewer items, the more plants come out. I guess I'll just, yeah, put it on this wall. As long as it doesn't clip through, that's fine. Okay, that's good. And then if I can get like bathroom uh, storage stuff, which is, yeah, like these kind of things, but isn't there like a um, horse ranch one? These aren't really consistent, consistently categorized. I think they're, the other the horse ranch ones are in, in this shelf category and surfaces. Yeah, here we go. It's like completely the same kind of item, but just in a completely different location for some reason. Um, and then I guess I've got a hand towel. Oh, kind of cramped. Maybe I should put the hand towel over here and then move these. But where do they go? Okay. But I mean, I don't hate that. It's kind of, it's hard to <laughs> put stuff in here. So I think that's pretty good. But if there's like, I want something here for that. It's like candles on me. Are these, do these even light or are these just decorative? What about this one? The sage candle tray. Is that, d does that belong in the bathroom? Maybe not. I'll do the vintage glamour one. I've used this in the house a few other places, but I'll just put it here too. Okay. Nice. It's a little... 
little awkward because it's a circle, but it works. All right, upstairs. Final room. The door here, I think, because then we can use this space for whatevs. And I guess over here, not really sure. What, I guess I'm going to not use this because I, th I thought that was a cool idea to use a glass, but I think I'm going to use this instead. Makes sense to me. Now, can we do a glass door or something out here? Not really because they're not quite right. Because we could do like this one maybe. That probably looks okay. Because yeah, those, the other sort of matching ones, it's kind of more outdoorsy and that one looks good. Anyway, so you can go out that way and have a look. Very Whoa, camera. Very nice. Whoa, camera. <laughs> we do a dream home decorator bed. We haven't used one of these yet. Uh, oh, I guess the bed has to go on this side of the room because I can't put it over here or block everything. Maybe if I do it this way, I'm imagining this being like a teen's room because it's pretty sweet. So I'm gonna have it a little off the wall and then I'm, I wanna do like a TV up over here or something. I think that'd be sweet. Yeah. I think that's the only TV in the entire house, by the way, because there is not one downstairs. Wait, can I put one on here? I feel like that mantle can hold a TV. Although probably a bad place to have a TV. I'm pretty sure that would get absolutely fried by the fireplace, but. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it anyway. There you go. Why not? Have fun. You know, you gotta live a little sometimes. Let's get our vintage glamour curtains up here. Okay, I think that's looking kind of nice. Maybe, can I get like, maybe a lamp there would be nice. Kind of doing like the darker bronzy gold on a few of these pieces. So I think that might work there. Okay. I kind of wanted to use this um, vintage glamour rug somewhere, but I don't, I don't really know how because it doesn't really go in this room, but I don't know, I was keeping it handy. All right, well, let's get a dresser and stuff in here too, because we're going to need that. Oh, I could do the Demento cabinet again, just in there. It's probably a good use of that space, actually. I already have the dresser there as well, so that'll be fine. And then maybe a desk and, and that kind of setup too. And then we're probably pretty good. Should we use the uh, the old school horse ranch one or vintage glamour? Maybe the glamour one. All right, I think this will do. We've got the nice little bed area down there. Nice TV, got a little sort of side table as you walk in. Computer office area or like desk area. I got the clock in. I really wanted this clock to be in here somewhere. Nice bookcase there. And then I've got the little balcony with the chair and a plant. And I think that completes the interior of our vintage glamour country living. Wait, what, what are we using again? Our jungle ranch, uh, no, our dream jungle ranch country glamour barn. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, so what I gotta do now is obviously just do a little bit of the outside because there's literally nothing outside. <laughs> I mean, well, we've got some stuff. I actually quite like the look of this. I think that came like this little side path. I think that's quite nice. Um, I mean, to be honest, probably just gonna do a couple of things. I think I'll do this and then I think I'll do the same thing where this sort of comes around. Maybe just joins here on the diagonal, do some plants in there. We might have this sort of head off in the same sort of way. And then again, do the same sort of thing just here with the path. Kind of like the path sort of completing around the lot like that. It's nice. And then this will just be like garden areas. Yeah. All right. Let's get some uh, vegetation. Oh, can you some horse ranch grasses? There you go. Okay. I've got some landscaping. I just do the barbecue under that. I don't know if that's the best place for this like coal fired barbecue, but um, that's where it's going to be. <laughs> so there's that. And then maybe a nice little chair out here. Yeah. I might, whoops. Might do this one over this side. And then can we do a nice outdoor dining area? Perchance. I guess I might make this a little bit wider. I could do something like that. Yeah, because we have barbecue there, a little dining area there, a little bench. Maybe another little bench around the back here. I don't know, just sort of kind of part way around the path. Just somewhere to sit. Got our bin around the back, which I kind of moved because I had to move some stuff. I guess I could put it back here. There's no reason. I, there was a reason I did move it. I don't remember what it was, but it's there now. Anyway, that's fine. I've got a door there as well. Alrighty, this is looking good. I guess the last thing to do is just a little smidge of terrain paint, like literally just a smidge because I don't think it needs that much because most of the lot is built on. Like we'll do some under the garden, probably around the edge of the pathways there, a little bit under the tree, but the trees are right on the edge of the lot so I can't do too much under there. Just like that. Yeah, there you go. All right, I think we're done. Uh, let me hit save because <laughs> I have not done that in a while. Now, looking back at this, I think this looks better than the concrete, which let's just go back. I mean, I did like that, but it definitely makes it way more bland. Uh, and I know you guys probably throughout this whole video have probably been like, more color, why is it all white? But, you know, we're going the vintage glamour, which I guess to be fair was very golden and, and also colorful, but I kind of think this works with everything we sort of got going on. So with that in mind, let me just double check. I haven't left any of the big lights around, except for this one, that's fine. Cool, let's um let's have a look. First person. All right, got our main entrance here. We're coming, in, coming into the kitchen and dining space. 
little uh, sort of entrance foyer. I think this this is really nice. I'm very happy with this space. I think this looks great. I uh, got our country kitchen kit there, our jungle adventure table. Little bathroom through here, nothing too special, but it should, you know what, I might need to test that. I might need to move those a little bit, but that's okay. I actually really like that big window through to the, the living area, because otherwise this would be super closed up, but having that big door and that big window I think opens it up. Also got our beautiful Jungle Adventure statue there, which then leads to our main living space, which I think, this looks great. Uh, this looks really, really good. And I think even though it was kind of a nightmare to do those rounded walls there, and you can see the windows are kind of glitchy with it. They are there, but it's hard to get the game to render it properly. Uh, I think it looks cool. And then looking back this way, and look, we could probably, if, <laughs> if I had more packs, I'd probably put something else here. But for lack of anything to put there, we put a statue in a viewing box, so I don't know. But um, yeah, then we got all these sort of open mezzanine levels through the back there. I think that looks awesome. And then we got our little sort of... Um, I don't know, piano slash office study room. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Just noticed this one should probably be white as well. And actually probably that too, just so it all matches together. You know what? When I feel like we need maybe something back here. How about like that? Like an old town architectural um, elevation. Oh right, yeah, so that's this little room. A little bit of vintage glamour there. And of course we have our curved, uh, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Bar slash chess room? I don't know. This is kind of a random room. Uh, <laughs> yeah, look, I can't do anything about that. That's that's the game's fault, so sorry about that. Anyway, I mean, this came out well. It'd be nice little bar room. It'll, you know, play chess. You have a little bit of peace and quiet, you know? And then moving upstairs, we've got the main bedroom through here. Oh, this is vintage glamour. I think this still works in the context of the house. Maybe it's a little much, but... I think it still works. Uh, I, I really wanted to do the vintage glamour thing, so we got that in. And then looking out for the balcony on this level, this, oh, dang it. Those windows keep, uh, the one up the top keeps sort of disappearing, but that's okay. Yeah, that looks so cool. I love that. Beautiful view. And then of course we've got our bathroom up here on this level. Very nice. Got every, it's got everything we need. And then we have a kid's bedroom down here, which I think is kind of cute. Okay, maybe, you know what, whilst we're touring, and also let me fix that window whilst I'm here. Where is it? Uh, I did, because I changed the color of some of the walls upstairs. I guess I should do that down here too. Uh, could do like a pink wall there, and we've got blues and stuff. Should we like mix it up, do like pink and green, or actually the green is kind of nice there. Maybe a little bit of green. Yeah, that makes it a little bit nicer. Uh, I could probably use more decorations, but look, there's not that much in the combination I have, so. The kids will love it. The kids will love it, as you guys know. Uh, yeah, that's nice. I like it. All right, then moving up to the final floor, which is just, whoa, a single bedroom for a teenager. Pretty sweet space. I mean, it doesn't have to be a teenager, but that's kind of what I imagine. Pretty sweet space to have to yourself. And of course, this also opens up to the level below. And you could probably easily extend this balcony if you wanted a bit more space up here. But uh, that is the barn. And I think it looks really cool, as we saw with the lighting at this time of day. Oh, look at look at that lighting coming through all the way to the kitchen in this in this time. That looks so nice. Like that lighting coming in. Dang. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this because it certainly took a fair amount of time, but I think it turned out really well. I think this turned out really well. Hope you enjoyed it. That was our go at another random pack build challenge. I think we succeeded, but you can let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much to my top level members. And of course, all of my members for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. Tomorrow for members, we're going to be starting a brand new shell challenge. So if you're not a member already, it's going to be a good time to sign up because for this member shell challenge, I'm thinking we do a shell and then you have to pick which world that shell has to fit into. So like I'll build a shell, then you'll be like, oh, I'm going to make this fit into Batu. anyone? So hopefully we'll get a lot of different styled shells, but the same base shape. So that'll be fun. But I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to download this, I'll link it in the description down below. Otherwise you can find it on my gallery, James Turner YT. But thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.